request uh, unanimous, unanimous consent to address the House for one minute. Can you revise and extend my remarks? Without objection, the gentlelady is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to represent the majority. The majority of Americans who actually pay their bills, the majority of Americans who actually believe that, that if they have a right, they actually have a responsibility. Unfortunately, President Biden just announced by, that by the stroke of his pen, he is going to forgive $39 billion in student loans this morning. Now, let me be clear. This is in direct violation of the Supreme Court's decision just two weeks ago that blocked his student loan forgiveness plan. But I guess the president has no respect for the constitutional authority of the Supreme Court. And apparently, he has no respect for hardworking taxpayers that are going to foot this bill. Because education isn't free, someone pays for it. Last I checked, the students or the teachers don't work for free. It's you, the taxpayer, who actually paid your student loans that are now going to pay for somebody who doesn't want to pay their student loans. Because every American that has paid off their student loans now gets the opportunity to pay somebody else's. What comes next, Mr. President? Are you going to forgive mortgages and, and credit card bills? Where, do you, where does this forgiveness end? Rest assured, come hell or high water, I will fight this till the end. Thank you, and I yield back. Members are reminded that uh, to direct their comments towards the chair. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from New York seek recognition? To address the House for one minute and revise and extend my remarks. Uh, without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Thank you.